Hey folks, we're live. This is Great Battles of the American Civil War, Dead of Winter, Battle of Stones River or Murfreesboro, if you like. Uh, joining me is Pat. How you doing, Pat? I'm I'm doing okay. I think I think maybe. Now we did have to make a couple of adjustments, uh, thanks to us actually looking at the errata. Uh, there was some Union Cavalry, for example, that doesn't come in until later, although there's some more Union Cavalry that's showing up any time, but it's different Union Cavalry. Okay. They moved with celerity this time, so that's, that's, that's a plus. So let's see, if they're in March and they're on a normal road, that's one per hex I, I i mean i'm sorry two per hex right so if there it's a normal yeah it it's one half on a normal road in march not a pike okay one two three. john longshore and stigler thanks for joining us Eleven. And we're in the yeah. middle of turn four. Is that right? One, two, three. No, we're in the middle, middle of turn three. And you are correct, sir. All right, so let me just replace these guys. Change all their facings. Yeah, the actual battle book states that... Um, some Union Cav arrive way, way, way far south of the main area that we're disputing. Yes. And um, well, the errata, which explained little things that weren't in the battle book, like, hey, how do you handle that hidden movement and all that stuff? Which, frankly, I'm glad we didn't see that at the time mm -hmm. because um, it's far more convoluted. But the Cav reinforcement thing, it was basically the Rebel Cav, which is in the module right now, is showing up at 1230. That's the mistake. It uh, let me, so let me see here. I pulled Rosecrans out of the counter mix just so I could have him because he's uh, so Crittenden is considered in command until per the errata until Rosecrans shows up. So which means that there's a, a Rosecrans's leadership rating, uh, which is applied, and it's it's right. a one. And importantly, Rosecrans is in command. Uh, even you know, Crittenden's in command, even though Rosecrans isn't on the map. But the moment right. Rosecrans shows up, they have to think about distance. Yes, correct. The, right. And Rosecrans, the errata doesn't say this. Well, it does. The errata does say it, but uh, Rosecrans is nowhere on the arrival schedule in the battle book. Um, right. The errata doesn't say Rosecrans shows up at this time. It says that Rosecrans is traveling with Thomas. So I think the way we're playing that is that he's coming in with Thomas potentially right. as soon as next turn, actually. Potentially. Rest in, rest in peace, Richard Berg, master of errata. <laughs> Every every game I've ever bought by Richard Berg is like, oh yes, I made the scenario and I didn't give you like, it's always that like the system's usually good. It's the whole oh yeah, I didn't provide you all the salient data. So all oops. right, so uh, oops, that's a, yeah, that's an oops. So all right, so we are good. So that cavalry actually already moved under its advance AM. So they're fine. They're done for the turn. So, so that's okay. kind of all resolved. And we're in the middle of drawing AM, so... Yep. I'll draw the first off. one. Sure. Why not? Oh, that it is... is that McCown. is McCown. What shall I do with McCown? Well, I think McCown, I think McCown is... Um, got these guys under <laughs> I have them under advance evidently all right that's good to know so yeah, okay I see uh, they're the guys like right in front of you so let's see here hmm 
might have to keep track of. Uh, this is McCowan's third chip. So bear that in mind. <coughs> the question is, am I moving McCowan? No, I am not. Let me undo all that. I'm, I've decided to move Withers instead, just for grants. All right, where, where the heck's McCowan? McCowan is McCowan. down by uh, the creek on the um, left-hand side of the back. Overall creek. Yes. So let me see here. So I'm not sure you need to move him. I mean, feel free to move him out of the way. But that you, you uh, might as well block uh, that, uh, that approach. That isn't going to happen. So. What we are going to do is beef up our... Our defense of that there creek. Crick. Boom. And boom. Now they're going to fatigue from that. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. So they're, they should be uh, up. Yeah, zero. Not okay. Zero. Okay, so let me, let me keep fiddling with them. I think one brigade will suffice to keep you from burn siding. Ha ha, burn siding. Har har har. All right, so. That's so weird. I just got, I literally just got an email from GMT. Yeah. 207 on a Sunday. These guys are going to move. Well, at least they ship via the post office as, instead of UPS. Which I prefer, but so, so we're clear on that. I'll look and see what order that is. I imagine that is the Men of Iron Tri-Pack. So presumably uh, all the other orders were shipped, so they were they were okay to ship mine. Right, so this guy's gonna move there, and then side <coughs> really don't need these guys here anymore so they are gonna go do a little dancing uh, McCowan is down. Uh, Alan McCowan is down here. That's that sort of teal uh, band across the top. I am actually showing McCowan right now. You're showing the dancing. All right. So we're currently moving Ector's brigade. Two, three, four, five, six. It's two facing. Oh, wrong way. All right. And then. I am very happy that we are helping to play test this vassal module. I have grown to love, like fallen in love with the uh I've fallen in love with the comma period facing change thing. It is a thing of beauty, Alan. A thing of beauty. Yeah, right, it is great. it is nice. So we figure a brigade'll stuff that bridge up in case McCook loses his mind. And that is it for McCown. We are done with McCown. Let's All right, go ahead and draw another chip then. I shall. Oh, it's another Another rebel chit, so we will flip it. Breckenridge. It is Breckenridge. Breckenridge. First hardy. 
Where are you, Breckenridge? Breckenridge, Breckenridge, Breckenridge. Here you are. And this is, well, we'll start way down here. Well, we're gonna have a snarl up on the road. They're under march order, so that doth not apply. So I will. It doth not matter. So I All will right. move that. That, that was easy. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'll draw the next one, which is another Confederate one. It is Breckenridge again. I will draw the next one. It is Union. Ooh, 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 ooh. Davis. All right, it good. Davis. Davis is what I wanted. Uh, this is Davis's second activation. So, let's see what we're doing here. Uh, we're going to activate... Was this everything? Hold on, let me check the honor battle card, because I don't think it was. It totally uh, it totally isn't. Yeah, okay, there's more com it's com a little bit more coming on. Alright, so activate the third brigade first for one, two, three, four, five. Stigler's still doing it. Like, we'll have a conversation about what we're doing, and then he'll respond about the rules, and we'll see it three minutes later. Alan, three, it's really four, just not five, worth six. it. And we always end up getting it right. Six. And if we don't, we fix it afterwards. Right. So, you know, chill. Have a beer. Enjoy the show. So that works. If you enjoy beer, have wine if you enjoy wine. Have whiskey if you enjoy whiskey. I wish I was having whiskey. That would be nice. But I would play like a stupid person. Yeah, I'm not a big fan, as we've discussed. Uh, let's see. Like, I'll, I'll be all right at first, and then I will slowly, like, devolve into making, like, not good decisions. All right, um, going to take a couple of shots with this artillery here. Let's put him here, put Davis here. All right, so first is uh, the 8th Wisconsin battery. This battery did not move. So <clears throat> it is going to fire with its full firepower right. at 25th Tennessee. It is in hex uh, 1939, it looks like. Looking for him. Yep, I see him. Right. Go ahead. So, uh, that is probably straight up. What do we got here? That's seven hexes away. We're shooting with Parrot Tens at seven hexes. There's no modifier. So this is a straight up roll. <clears throat> that's the unit that's not in the woods. Right. And we have rolled a five. Uh, that is, which means it's an ammo depletion. Uh, that is a little D, so give me a little D for him. He fails. He fails, so he is going to flip. And he does. All right, we got 5th Wisconsin battery is going to take a shot at the uh, stack in... Uh, 1935, that's the stack that is under Johnson. Right. All right, so that is a shot. Uh, have you, sure that's worse. Has, did he move? He did. So he has okay. halved. Um, TEC, TEC. So we're in the woods, so that's worth... Uh, that is woods. Yes, it is woods and not cedars. So that is on minus one for that. And I don't think that steep slope does anything for fire combat. 
I don't think it does either. Let's. It let's does. See. It is another uh, minus well. one. So this is a so minus, two. minus two. So we have three factors minus two. Uh, but plus one because it's plus one, right? Uh, da, 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 where is it? Because we're cause masked we're target. Yeah. So yep. minus net minus one. So let's see what we get. Uh, that's a two. Three factors with a two is nothing. Okay. All right. And then the third brigade here. Let's see what we're doing here. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is it, right? Up, up slope yep. is, is plus one, right? Yep. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Let's rotate him so he's facing in a sensible direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's another shot I'm going to take. This is with the second Minnesota. He will be have take the same shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes this time, and that is six pound smooth bores. That is the same shot as before. There's no extra range modifier on that. You, uh, so minus, it's, a, it's net minus one. Yeah, did I say three? Three yep. factors minus one. Seven. So we have a net six. That will be something. That is a little d. So give me a little d, and, and it's the artillery rolling. But they they're passed. fine. Yeah. All right. So that's fine. And then we have a couple more units coming in. Now, I have a question. Hmm. So that artillery there, can I see you? I believe I might be able to. I th yep. if, if I can see you, then you can see me. So I believe yeah, so. We're, we're both on the same elevation. Yep, yep, yep. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six up there. Let's make sure we're facing that way. All right, and that it, that is it for Davis. Okay. I believe, you, yes, you draw the next chip. Another union. That is wood. Uh, wood is down here. I think this is his first. Is that correct? I don't it is. know. Okay. You've got me. This is so much more fun than Antietam was. <laughs> well, I mean, ultimately, this is this is boiling down to this is more our speed than Antietam was. Yeah. Uh... I'm trying to find Wood himself. This is the right. This is the right unit. Um, all right. So we'll uh, activate uh, Haskell first. I think. Yeah, that sounds good. Wood will presumably turn up at some point. It's not with Crittenden, is he? He's in here I thought, somewhere. I thought Wood was down in there in the mix. Uh, like I said, he'll turn up. All right, so Woods, uh, two. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, uh, rotate first. Two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, John Longshore, I, I, I you made me uh, laugh here. repeatedly the last couple of days with your Sam I Am comment on the the last thing we played. Two. Six. I. 
I shall not, will not in a glen. I shall not, will not in a devil's den. Sam, I am. And that whole thing about like, well, they're introductory games. No, you know, it's been, you know, like there. Are, I always say like there's like bands of Dickensian orphans roaming uh, conventions, right? Please, sir, play this simple, simple game with me that only takes an hour and get me into the wargaming hobby. That never happens. You know, it's people play consistently games of a certain bandwidth, in my opinion. That's usually what happens. So that is a regular road. At least it's only one. Yeah. All right, oh, the first ammo depletion is minus two. Stigler reminds us. I'm going to remind you of that for that Should, little... Oh, well, the marker says it's minus one. Yeah, he says it's an old module. Well, I blame the module designer for that. Oh, totally. Right. Totally, totally, totally. Dickensian waifs looking to All play. Right, so can I game. then... Okay, so you could actually just click it a second time, and it'll give you yeah. the negative two. Got it. Wow, you're really moving wood. You were like, yeah, I have held this little position as long as I, this way as long as I see fit, and I am moving. I actually thought for sure you'd stay there, but... That is not occurring. I am not evacuating the entire position. No. This guy. What's kind of small? Now that I'm looking at him. This is basically it right here it's yeah one, two, yeah it's that whole thing of you get these really small divisions yeah you know um with the with the army of the, of the cumberland well the army of tennessee at this time as we've discussed has these big fatties fatty brigades fatty divisions all right just... we're going to take another shot here with eighth indiana battery this all is right. um once again this is probably a negative for range this is a six pound smooth bore let's use the line of sight tool because why not he... none of them moved right this guy did okay all right so he's a three and it's at nine hexes which is going to give me a minus one all right, so you, it's three who, who minus pop? one minus another one because you're in the woods. So it's a okay. th three minus two. And we got a five, which is a D minus one. Okay, so the artillery's on top. So they've got a slightly reduced... Uh, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't tell you exactly where I was firing. This is hex 34... 37. This is the first Arkansas, right on the end. Okay, 34, 37. All right, so he's... Yeah, D minus one. Little D minus one. He... Am I correct that he is a... Hold on. Am I seeing two units? Oh, because there are two units there. All right. Well, oh, are good. there? Yeah. I only see one. Here? Is that the hex we're talking about? 30. No. No, no, no. This is First Arkansas. It's in 3467. Thir uh, 3437. Uh, go a little bit to your, the purple guy. Go in a little bit to your left. Well, quite a bit to your left. Purple guy to the left. I, I think I'm losing. This guy. No. No, no. Keep going left. This is oh, part this of guy. Polk's, Polk's Brigade. Oh, right here? Yes, that's the guy. Oh, all right. That Whoa, that's a, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was I, I was looking at the wrong freaking artillery unit. All right, go that's ahead. That's okay. Uh, you have to go ahead and roll. It's D minus, little D minus one. All right, so I've got a seven. 
So. Just made it. Okay. Barely. Uh, he's right about that. I'll just put it back here. That's fine. That won't change anything. All right. Um, all right. So uh, that is Haskell's Brigade. Uh, one more to do here. So we're going to go to, let's check that on the TEC. He's going to go two, four. Guys, I l because I want to interact with the chat and Six. I love everybody, I'm going to officially ask that we stop the play-by-play -play rule stuff. Six. All Let's right. Keep so the sync for a later time because I like interacting with you guys, but it gets annoying. Six pair of ten. Six pair of ten. Zero. Okay, so we got a. This unit moved, so it's halved. So it's three factors. Right. Uh, he's shooting one, two, six, six hexes away, which is no modifier, and he's shooting at Barrett's battery, which is in the woods. Right. How did Barrett's battery move into the woods without becoming? Did he roll? Well, okay. So let's assume this happened. If you move artillery into woods, they have a. They they suffer a little D result. So they can right. disorganize. All right, so Correct. it's minus one for being in the woods. And then that's looks like that's it. So three minus one. And that's obviously nothing. That is right. a big nothing. So that's fine. So we'll go one, two. And that is exactly what happened. That battery has been there about two turns all right 10th indiana battery will shoot at barrett's artillery as well it's parrot tens one two three four five six seven eight hexes which is probably not a modifier uh, with the parrot tens it is not uh same deal minus one but it's six factors this time because he did not move and once again we have a big uh, nothing the vaunted Union artillery. I don't know, not I don't know about how vaunted they are. Well, they are actually. It's a, they, ah. it, I just keep rolling too. So, all right, they have accomplished exactly nothing this turn. I keep hitting the, a shift, comma and shift, yeah, period yeah. instead of control for some reason. I tend not to do that normally with play, playing video games, but for some reason it's happening with this particular module. So. So I believe I think it is my pull now, if I recall correctly. Oh, it's more union yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, this is Wood's first activation this turn. Right. Well, this that's Wood's his... second activation this turn. That's what we just so, got. So right. cool. Thanks. Um, all right, we're just gonna. Sh I'm not gonna do rotations here because everybody's just gonna shift down a bit. Well, let me do it once so I can see how far they can go. So we can go one, two, three, four. That looks John good. John Longshore, in my rough guesstimation, I would say 65%. What percentage would you say of Terrible Swift Sword is left in this series, Gary? Uh, I've never played Terrible Swift Sword. Um, okay. I would say about a 70% a maybe. That's, yeah, we're That's close. a guess yeah. from looking at the yeah. older rules. But it's, it's probably not wildly off base. That's why I went with like two thirds. Yeah, it's you know there's there's been a plenty of changes, but it's not crazy. All right, let's hold off on that. Let's take our shot first. Uh, this time we're gonna shoot shoot at Cleburne. Yep, that sounds good. Let's the hex that, that he is in physically in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's twelve hexes with six pounds smooth bores. That has got to be a negative modifier. And yep. it is, in fact, that's maximum range. Um, so it's a minus one, but it's a, and it's a minus one for the woods, but it's a plus one because it's a big unit. He's a fatty. Let's yeah. do it. So let's roll that. That's and that's three factors. Nine. Woohoo! Okay, so we got three factors rolling at net eight is a D, 
Uh, little D plus one. Here we go. There, Claiborne's. What is there? Oh, they're only a five. Yeah. For all their vauntedness, let's see. Up, oh, they failed. They're disorganized. Okay, they disorg. Okay. All right. So, check a couple things here with the movement. Yep. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna go. Oops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. to spend one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he can't shoot. Yes, he can. He's just shooting I in thought, half. Oh, I thought you couldn't. Um... Yeah, 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 gotcha. All right, I could take a shot at that first Arkansas. No, so I thought a, a battery that moves more than half its MA can't fire at all. Well, I can look that up. Yeah. Do the PDF rules make you happy? Do they have tags? They do now, because I put them in. Ooh. Harsh. It's 10.61. They also have a minus two DRM when they fire. Yeah. That, I wonder if that's new. That's maybe. All right. Well, they're not shooting then. That's fine. Um, Since it's within memory, what does that do to your Claiborne hit? You roll the nine. That's a seven. Because you had an extra minus two. Did he move his full MA or half MA? He moved, he moved half because he was just shuffling okay. down. Okay. So that if it's an extra minus two, that would put it at a six. You still would have failed that roll. That would have just made it a straight little D. A six. Yeah, I'm just looking at it. So it would have been a straight D. Yeah, and an eight yeah. would have done it. No, but I'm stacked with um, leaders. So that would have been a seven. Still would have failed. Okay. Oh, the lead. That's true. That's true. Le uh, Cleburne uh, would give you two uh, minus two to that. But you did roll terrible. So I and, he, and he's kind of a bum. So, well, relatively speaking, I don't want to know about that, but but it's it not super high morale. Let me put it that way. No, correct. All right, so yeah, there are plenty of other regiments there with like sevens, you know, in that he's just like the outlier in that brigade. Okay, this guy has uh, put an ammo depletion on him. Uh, I might as well move him the whole way, to be honest. Uh, that's going to be t four, five, six, seven, eight. And he'll end up here. If you're going to do that, you might as well keep him at the line of sight. Oh, you want to keep him on the road? Got it. Well, what I could do is put him here, actually. But that doesn't do any good. Um, yeah, I hear you. No, I actually think that's a good idea. We're going to put him here. And he's traveling on the road, not uh, yeah, 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 yeah. not in the Got woods. It. So that's how he's getting there without uh, disorganizing. So he's not moving. All right, so that's Woods second. So I think it's my draw. Eh, sure. 
Davis. This would be Davis's third. Where's Davis at? Davis Do has I been. I wish to moving make on map. Him roll down. I think I'm going to pass with Davis. Go ahead and draw one. I shall. McCown, we are not going to do a fourth activation with McCown. So you may draw. Withers. Withers. Withers? Doesn't that sound like a like a Lucy Show character? Mr. Yeah. Withers! No, I, Stigler, uh, I completely agree with that. Um, I wouldn't mind having a copy of TSS, but... Um, somebody on one of the Pay It Forward groups is currently offering a copy of Rebel Sabres, which is interesting because it can, part one of the scenarios anyway, can be added on to Terrible Swift Sword to do the cavalry battles over to the east of Gettysburg, which is, is interesting. Where's Withers? Withers is in the center. So okay. my, que my question is this. Um, I think that I would like Chalmers to try to um, do some sort of rally function. Now, they're currently under advance, as you can see before your very eyes. Uh huh. How would I go about doing a rally? Is that a orders change? Uh, let's look. Hold on a second. Because it's the first time I think we'll have done it here. So meanwhile, I'm going to do. I'm going to be moving other people, is what I shall be doing. Two, four. Or do I just want to scooch everybody down? Yeah. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. What what orders are you under? Advance. Advance. I, I believe it is an action, not an order. So um, the brigade can do that. Got yeah. You. So you're basically we would be you would be declaring that the brigade is doing um, a, a rally action. And I don't see anything that says you can't do it under attack orders either, by the way. All right, so Loomis is done. I knew where the hell. The question is, do you rem when you think of when you see the name Loomis, do you think of Rick Loomis or do you think of Loomis from Halloween? <laughs> The uh, so uh, that was an issue, John Longshore, with the Spitzer games in general, and and I won't say there are no exceptions, but there aren't very many exceptions. The maps are hideous, and the counters are not necessarily hideous, but they are not awesome. So, um, I mean, they're center nib counters. So right there, we we got we we're we're starting with problems. That said, I wouldn't mind having a copy, and, and for the sake of maybe potentially someday combining it with Rebel Sabres, I would l prefer to have the Spitzer version, ugly as it is. I mean, it's not like the, the SPI Terrible Swift Sword is gorgeous, 
Although I don't think it was particularly awful at the time. And certainly the counters are nicer. I, if I didn't say this, I have to agree with Stigler. I think the I think the the chip pull system here adds a great deal to the game system, and I would not want to play without it. Uh, I, I would like to experiment with the old version of the system, but I would do that with a smaller game, like say Cedar Mountain or uh, oh, I've got like three of them now. I've got Cedar Mountain and Pea Ridge and I'm, at I'm least a one other one, Wilson's Creek. So I'm a thousand percent with you. There's, there's no re the, the chit pull just completely changes the game. So it's like, yeah, like, like maybe a third of the rules have changed, well, but they're big changes. Yeah. So I mean, know? without right. it, it's another one of these, well, I'll go take a nap while you're right. going. I mean, it's, it's a little interactive. Don't get me wrong, but making no other changes except making it, I go, you go and discarding the chit pull means that you're, it's going to take you hours to move all your stuff in a big right. battle. Right. Which right. maybe this a, isn't quite yet, but. It's a it's a classic, nineteen seventies. Go buy some cheetahs, smoke them if you got them, while the other guy plays his turn. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, right. So, I'm trying to. Where the hell is Loomis's artillery? I do see it. I mean, so it 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 depends on format, you know. So if you're playing on Vastly, you're playing two or two to four hours at a time, say. Um, then I I want an interactive game. Right, uh, I want a game where, as the other guy, I have something to do. I never would, never did turn up. I wonder if uh, he v got vassaled out of existence, because that's possible. He was out, though. I can tell you that. Loomis's artillery. Yeah, I believe so. So let's let's find. Well, let let's me find fix you. that. Loomis is there's his brigade. There's his battery. It's Robertson. I just pulled it from the OOB. If I don't, if we find him again later, he, he will go away. Yeah, that's fine. So he would have been near these guys, so he's going to go. On the other hand, let's say you have a, uh, you're at Consum World, the recently canceled Consum World Expo. And you're going to, you've got like a 12 hour play day, right? Which is about what you usually get in that kind of event with like an hour, hour break for lunch. I could really use a break. Um, at sure. some point in there. So I, I don't object as much to an I go you go system, even if it means I have to sit there and pound my turnout for two hours, right? Yeah, but just generally speaking, I'd rather like we all take a break or something, or I'll take a, hey, you know, I'll, I'll leave early because you're doing your final activation, or, you know, or something like that. It just, it just, there, there's a, there's a thing that draws your interest to a more interactive system. Yeah. It's why I built a, a hot dry season the way I did. There's enough I go, you go there, but there's reaction moves. You know what I mean? There's all this stuff yeah. going on. There's and, reaction and, move. The turn sequence is interactive. And I, I, right, I right. concur. I mean, in, in, as, as, a, as a game design principle, I would prefer to see more interactivity. Right. Yeah, you know, the, uh, it, it's kind of one of the things, you know, that, that keeps pushing me away from o, a lot of OCS stuff. Yeah, you, know, you know, that, that and, type of... And it, that's one of the reasons why OCS works so well at a big big convention format because it plays exactly that way it's like okay you're doing your movement phase i i know it's going to take you an hour and a half i'm going to wander off and get lunch or i'm going to go hop in the dealer's room or you know whatever whereas right, right, in right. you know where we're playing the way the way we play locally is we play for three or four hours and you know sometimes we've played for an hour and it's the other guy's movement phase and we say all right well you know we're gonna we're gonna leave, so um, right. Go ahead and take your up, turn, and, and like we'll tomorrow. we'll be back next week. All right. So I, sir, am done with Withers first activation, but uh, what I need to do is that r r rally action with Chalmers. Okay. How does yeah. That work so again? so you're just gonna roll your. I'll read it out of the book just so we don't screw it up. But all right. To ra are, are you disordered? Is that why you're rallying? Yes. Okay, yes. so uh, to rally a disordered unit, you just roll. You roll against its disordered cohesion rating. And right. if you succeed, it's no longer disordered. But if you roll um, at least twice the disordered cohesion rating, or if you roll a nine, then it stays disordered and loses a strength point. Got it. So, so who's disordered? That artillery? 
Yeah, yeah. Ch uh, Chalmers artillery. Okay. Chalmers is with them, so it gives okay. a minus one to the roll. Yeah. So that's that's quite good news. So here we go. He did not. Okay. He, but... It's not double, and it's not a nine, so he doesn't take nope. a strength point. But he does right. not dis not uh, recover right. from disorganization. The, which is why you want a leader there. It keeps the nine from happening, if you think about it. Uh, I think... It is an adjusted nine or higher, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. All right, so that is it. Now it is, I think it's my turn. Uh, there sure. Flip, it's Confederate, whatever it is. March. It is the Confederate March order. Okay. So, let's, let's, let's do that. Well, I mean, the hidden deployment's not supported in the module, but we may we may be playing an outlier too, of playing the approach. I'm going to call it the approach to battle scenario, um, and I don't know if uh, I think certainly if you were playing it at an event, I think you'd probably not play it this way. I think you'd play it just with the starting, uh, right? Uh, with you know the full battle scenario rather than playing the the meeting engagement scenario. I don't know about that. I would if like that whole convention thing. I usually tend to go big at a convention, so like bigger. That's true too, and I don't necessarily have a sense of how long the whole battle te tends to play to completion, right? So, uh, you know, again, we're, if we're playing something to take my last, uh, I, I think we arrived. Uh, so my last big, big, big convention game was the whole GTS Market Garden thing. And I think we did we did come to a conclusion, right? Although we didn't play until the end of the scenario necessarily. Um, right. And it was actually a really interesting game because the the uh, thirty core column made it onto the island, and they were really close, and they got stuffed at the uh, at the wall trying to get across to relieve uh, the British first airborne. Um, the year before, we did the Decision Games Goss Atlantic Wall, and I think we got to about June 15th, something like that. And bear in mind, we'd have, we'd have probably gotten to the 18th or, or 19th had somebody not been a shithead and bailed out on us. Ooh. But, and, and it, as in bailed out on the room, too. So, you know, we had somebody that was supposed to split the room with, and he decided he wasn't going to hang around. Like, completely disappeared on Yeah. Now, he, I mean, he paid his part of the room for what, the time he was there but you know that's not the arrangement right that the arrangement is you're defraying the cost of the event by splitting the room two ways for the whole eight nights and not for four nights oh he bailed decided. on the hotel room yeah so that not, yeah that person would become my convention persona, persona. non grata and he was not yeah. in attendance at winterfest this year strangely enough the funny thing is, like, if you, so, let's say you're short on a little cash, right? People, I found at conventions is where people were. Those are the situations where friends will help you out the most. And and that happened. And I frankly cooled. I mean, I I was not unpissed by the time I cooled off, but I wasn't like you know table flipping rage by the time I went off. You know, this was a let's go out to the car and smoke about three cigarettes. Yeah, but the thing scenario. is, you, you, you got to discuss that with people, man. That 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 you know that that's the right. And just thing. it was just it wasn't like he was you know an emergency came up or something like that. It was because he was not he uh, the other guy did not let him take back an entire turn. Got it. So, so you screwed this up, and now you're being a baby and walking out with it. But you know, again, it's let's just say it's not like. That, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a little bit of a different... Stigler says, nothing stopping you from conceding a game you're getting your butt whooped in. Yeah, exactly. Then you say, hey, I got, we got more time. Let's play something different. Or, or yeah, that's, start that's, this again. That's totally that's, cool. That's, that's just kind of childish. That's complete, it's, it was extremely childish. Let's see. All right. Come on, guys. Spread out, spread out, spread out. And it wasn't like it was like, oh, you're going to lose the game because of this. He would have had, you know, the other guy had set up a success. You can't roll back 
more than a couple of hexes worth of movement in that system. It's just not the way it works. So, because you've got a movement is live at all times, right? You have to actually keep track of what you're moving through if you're moving through occupied hexes and all that. You you cannot just walk back a whole turn. Screw that. It's not my most hilarious convention story, I'll tell you that either. <laughs> All right. Come here, you strung out cab unit, you. That's one. Well, well, you're still moving. You got a little bit to go yet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I am going to take a small bio siesta and check on the giant pot of pork chili verde I have in the oven. Then you'll have to take another, after you eat it, you'll have to have another bio siesta. I'll eat after we're done, though. <laughs> No, you don't go there. You guys go here. Pop, pop, pop. Dance for me. All right, that's that. Oh, okay, I have returned. I see you're still moving. It's all good. I am almost done. Man, these pikes are a marcher's best friend. Yeah, well, you've got, uh, you know, a, a quite a lot of distance between you and the enemy down here. So you can safely stay in march mode and pretty much go where you want. Right.
Now, one other thing I'll mention, too, is that the uh, chit pull system is generally regarded as pretty favorable for solitaire play. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'd agree with that. I, I, you know, I could see that happening. All right, so let me see. Do, do I have anybody else on a march? Let me get, let me go real big. I don't think so. Nope, that'd be it. We are done. All right, I think it's my chit pull. Sure. So, Breckenridge, who I believe Breckenridge. you just moved under march orders. Yeah, so he is done. All right, so put him away. Go ahead and draw. Flip. Davis again. Let's take a look at the situation down here. I believe... It has not changed since your last pass. Not really, no. Uh, no, I think I'm going to pass again on Davis. All right. So I'll pull one. Fry. Fry has gone twice. Um, Fry doesn't. Did he not appear? Oh, he's center. Right. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, in yeah. the. Yeah, right. he's in the middle. He's that. Uh, like looks like <clears throat> it's two brigades so far. No, it's actually yeah. three. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna pass. All right. No sense tearing him out yet. Go ahead and draw. Claiborne. Claiborne. This, I believe, is Claiborne's... Let me double Fourth. check. Fourth. Claiborne ain't doing nothing. Okay. Palmer. Paul. This is Palmer's second. He's definitely going. Is it? Make sure that's correct. It is. Yes, it is. Okay. <coughs> I am going to take a, um, okay. an organic thingy, and I shall return. Uh, they're not under March, however, so... This is not going to take very long at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. And let me make sure he doesn't have anybody else coming in off the road. He does not. So that was actually it for Palmer. Would have been smart to have put him in March. So parrot tens can reach thirteen is what thirteen hexes, but I did not. Uh, I didn't want to activate the whole brigade. So Check a couple other things while we're waiting here. Do, do, do.
cool, cool, cool. As I suspected, it is in fact uh, the Men of Iron tripack that is on its way from GMT, which will presumably be here around Thursday, probably. Friday, maybe. It's coming from California to Ohio. Tends to take a little bit of time. We've got some cavalry coming in at some point, but they're coming in down over here, so they're going to be way out of command. back do you have do you have a shot or something no nope. oh no 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 this was just guys coming in off the, off, off of the northern entry point all right so and why don't you draw the next one sure wheeler Wheeler. i think wheeler's no wheeler is actually under advance so here let me get my looks like he's only gone computer once yeah yeah so, come here, Viola. Viola. And it's only one for two in march mode on the road, right? Otherwise, it's just a normal movement, correct? That's correct. All right, one, two, five, six, seven. All right, Wheeler has moved. All right, it's your draw. <clears throat> I shall indeed. Right. Flip. Withers. 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 This is Withers' second activation. So we're going to start with the simple stuff and um, try to rally that guy again, hoping that we don't roll El Crapola. Okay. And so we've got a plus one to the roll with Chalmers. So here we go. Minus on. one to the roll. Minus that one. That should oh, make four. it. There you go. The Artie's good to go. Okay. Flip. All right. And now we'll go with these guys. Oh, let's get zoom in a little bit.
Und... Well, that's two. two, four, so we're going to take these shots now. So, and you, you can't combine fire, can you? Not yet. in adjacent no. hexes, no. But you can shoot up to 12 factors of artillery out of one hex. Got it. So Bowen's four is going to shoot at... Um, Barnett? Uh, uh, yeah, the one guy who's kind of poking out where I got line of sight on. Right here. Waters, okay. okay. Right, right. So here we go. So Bowen's a four, and well, he's a one, two. Who's he? Who's Bowen? Am I am I not looking at the right units? I'm sorry, Barrett. Okay, Barrett, Barrett didn't move. So nope. So he's nope. shooting at four. Who's his? Tar okay, so his target's in the woods. So minus one, but plus one for a large target. Uh, yes, and I'm six away with, I believe they're smoothbores. So that's a uh, yeah that's smooth okay. so that's not a modifier so it's a straight up four here we go that's a nothing and robin no it's not well, it's a d minus three. Oh well let's see what happens to you all right nope nothing. nope he's fine all right now we're gonna shoot with robertson who is halved and so he's three. It's the same thing. Three, straight up. That is another D minus three. No, no, no. It's a three three straight up roll is my point. I have not rolled yet. I rolled oh, a nine. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right. So three factors on a nine is a D plus two. Same target, right? Right. That's a zero. So he is kosher. Is is a zero a zero in this game or zero is yeah, zero yeah, yeah zero, zero. all right so nine is the then, bad number in this game and then we're gonna roll it's two same thing for withers that sitting there and here we go roll the five on the two which is a ammo reduction yeah d minus one uh, five he is okay. What a firing. Firing, ammo depletion, and it's got to be twice, right? Yeah, you said, just hit it twice. All right. All right, there we go. That is that for me firing. Okay. And now I will continue with my move. So let's see. Now, uh... Chalmers here rallied. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Okay. We forgot the minus two DRM too, by the way, but it didn't yeah. it didn't make any difference. Made squat of a difference, and I guess we'll put him. Check that. Yeah. Again. 
Yeah, it's a minus two. Which the problem is, is it's not on the charts, of course. Is it minus two and? No, it says it there. No, it yeah, it's halved and it's a minus two artillery move during the phase, and it's on the chart. We just need to start. No, it's not halved. It's minus two. It, but it says in the rules, guns that uh, guns that move. Okay, got it. It's just the minus two. It's not half. Yeah. All right. So, well, now we know it's all good. I don't think it screwed anything up particularly. Let me get him. I, I I like that actually. The minus two hurts more than the having does uh, unless you're talking about the difference between like a masked battery right so that is it for withers that is his second activation he all right more all right uh my draw uh sure kenneth kenneth's not in okay. uh wait a minute that's not let me check something I think that might not actually be accurate. Um, it is, in fact, accurate. Kenneth is not in it this time. So go ahead and draw oh. one. All right. Maybe he'll be in next turn. Withers. Withers is passing. Okay. Next one is the last chit, which is Fry. So Fry has gone, uh, well, he's gone twice. He is, uh, I'm comfortable having him pass at this time. That, sir, ends the phase. Okay. I'm going to pull out my OB card and put all of my activation markers on it and get this organized as we proceed. Oh, bless me. Hmm. Okay, so... Are you undoing things? Flip. Uh, a couple of things, yeah. All right. There we go. All right, we're good. All right, I'm going to draw my efficiency. Uh, no, we don't do that. Let's actually look at the sequence of play. Yes, I, I think we should. I think that's that's the way to approach things. All right. So the first thing we're going to roll is initiative. As I recall, you rolled and uh, you had initiative last turn, right? I did indeed. All right. So we're both going to roll a d10, and I get a plus one. Yep. Oh, Confederates right. so maintain the Confederate initiative. Confederate initiative again. All right. So, what is the next? Uh, next is orders. So determine if anyone is going to be out of command at this point. Okay. I believe someone 
is, but I believe I'm happy with it. Reigns is out of command. The guy by the bridge. Okay. So he's just got minus one activation right. marker. Right. Well, he's a brigade. Then he doesn't get minus one activation marker, uh, but he can't change his orders during the division orders phase. I he has to roll as... for it if he wants to right. change it. I have marked him as out of command. All right. When do reinforcements arrive? Um, uh, it's it's right behind the division orders. So, have you given all your orders? No, I have not. We have to do a and then at that right? point. Uh, that's true. We do efficiency first. Um, let's roll to see who's coming in. I don't know if you have any rolls to make, but I do. No, I have someone who is is coming in. Okay, I have to check on mine. So. fact let me while you're doing that i shall gather my rosebuds as they say and place them down there okay that was easy All right, so efficiency. Let me draw then. N none of Thomas's co uh, core is in at this time. Okay. Cheatham's division has arrived. All right, so you can do your efficiency. Yeah, let me just pull these guys out of the OOP first. I'm just kind of throwing them down. Drawings this turn were exceptionally dire. Stigler, I agree. And that was exactly how I felt about it at the time. Okay, so walk me through the efficiency marker process again. All right, so wherever your efficiency marker is on, throw them in the kepi. And All then right. you're going to draw one for each core level command that y you have. Right. Either either in on the map already or coming in this turn. Okay, so I have no new cores coming in, so that really won't affect anything. So let me gather these guys up. Ask those and let me throw them in the stack and let me now grab the stack and throw it in the kepi. Oh, wait a minute. I do have what? somebody else coming in. I might have to draw another one. It's okay. Um, I'll hold off. No, no, no. no. You can go ahead. 
I, it's 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 not a problem. All right, and now I shall just put the rest of them, st start stacking them up. Empty out that kepi for you. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Wow, that was good. All right, so the way I so the way I do the math on this, right, is you can't get any more than four. That's right? correct, or less than one. Or less than one, and right, and then we just figure out the AMs from there, right? So now, yeah. So if the core level leader has a minus one, then everybody in his core gets a minus one. If he has a right. plus one, then one of them can get a plus one. Right. And if they have plus ones, well... Yeah, then it only affects that particular uh, division. All right. Uh... Oh, well, this was quite a good turn. And after this, we do orders, correct? Correct. That's correct. Okay. Stack them up. <clears throat> Shall... Oh, and don't forget to reserve one activation marker for your first activation. Mm, let me think about that. Let me look at the map. Make a good point, sir, and I shall do just that. That is, do have a use for that. I've heard that Game On is a nice uh, event, but as it's in Seattle, which is not easy to get to for me, I have never seriously investigated going to it. I find the Pacific Northwest gorgeous. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I've been up there. I've been to Seattle, but I not not for a game convention. But I'd rather go to Portland. So I'm going to throw in the random event. Oh, yes, please. All right, so you're building the Kepi? Yeah, so I'm going to flip it. Random event's going in, and I'm just going to throw all my stuff in the Kepi. There it goes, and here is my initiative AM. Now it is time for orders. I'm actually done with orders. Now. I did not draw an efficiency marker that had a number higher than two. So. That's. Oof. You had the opposite. I had. Good luck, shall we say. I had pretty good, uh, that first turn especially, I had um, pretty good draws. So let me, uh, orders, orders. All those guys are going to advance, 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 advance. Yeah, there we go. So it would not be, if you're going to do it, we are actually talking about doing this next year. Um, Multiman's winter offensive event is not very far from Antietam. On the other hand, it's in January, so you're a little bit dependent on what the weather looks like. This year, it would have been fine. Come on, there's got to be a leader there somewhere. Yeah. All right. So, all right. I left a couple of orders laying around because I knew I'd need them. Thought we fixed the thing with Johnson's activation markers. You did, unless you deleted them. I'm looking at the activation marker menu, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing them. Maybe I'm brain cramping. That's possible. Johnson's not in right now. It doesn't really matter at this exact moment. Maybe we have the older version of the module loaded. That's possible. I had deleted my older module but you did need to delete your old one and remove it's not it going to come up today so i'll just make sure i'm on the right version for you always have week. to purge the old version from that vassal main menu like not just like use the new one clone which would explain that weirdness we were having at first that's true yeah yeah i'll, I'll check it. it like i said right now it's not important I am done with orders. Orders. Oh, we got leader placement. Correct. Correct. All right. Yeah. Um, well, I don't have to worry about that right now. He's fine. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Are you using a tool or something? What? I keep getting... Are you using an LOS tool? Oh, you're moving stuff. No, right. I, I, I'm moving Crittenden.
since he's the only army leader here. Um, so I am also interpreting it that... Let me pull up an out-of-command marker, actually. see an out of command marker how did you mark uh, guys out of command there's a selection for the on the leader called out of command not the brigade the leader brigade leader Ah, okay. All right. So Woodruff and um, Carlin over here are, I believe, out of command. Since they don't get the special dispensation for their leader not having entered yet. At some point, I mean, there was a possibility that this would happen this year, but then my job, well, that my job blew up and um, we had a pandemic. So there was there was a, an idea that I was going to be able to do Concept World Expo this year, but that, that was obviously not going to be the case as of about the first week of February. It is an expensive trip, even if, I mean, it's canceled, so it's irrelevant now. I hopefully we'll get everything settled in time to make it to Compass Expo in November, assuming that happens. Right, so the only guys I have out of command are Buckeye Game Fest in September has not yet been canceled, but at this point, I think we all expect it to be. Where the hell are you, Pegram? Okay. I am done. Okay. Uh, first chip, then? Uh, hold on. Let's, let's look at the sequence of play. Um... Reserves. Do you have any reserves? Um, I have no reserves. Okay. Then we're on to the uh, activation segment. All right. So, so reveal your chip there. Clayburn. Let's see. Are they in March orders? No, they just moved six. Well, they got to face. They have to face the spine then. Wow, oh, they're on a road, man. 
Well, they still have to face a spine because yeah. there you go. I'm not, I'm not done. I'm moving a bunch of guys at once. Well, I Relax. figured. Okay. I'll chill. I'll just chill. Right. Just chill. I'll move them back just to make my point. Hold on. Wait. that brigade him back there and he'll go there. Okay. I think I'm done with Claiborne, but let me double check. Make sure he's a big big old fatty. Claiborne is done, as you see, kind of moving aggressively. Okay. Trying to beat Thomas to the punch. And that's that. I so I'll draw the first one. Why not? Okay. It's another. What? Cheatham. Cheatham is under march orders, so he just right. he just arrived. So over to you. Withers. With Mr. Withers. Probably live to regret this, but here we go. Move from the rear.
Alright. That is Loomis. Withers back there. Actually, before those guys move in the way, um, we're going to take a shot with uh, Barrett's battery. Okay. You can shoot over your own guys. Oh, you can't? All right. Yeah. This is like it's Polk's doing this like it's right out of Hardy's manual of arms. This is how you're supposed to advance a division. Okay. So we have finished with Withers and now we will take some shots. So we have moved Garrity. So Garrity cannot shoot. He's moved. Uh, or is it no you just get a minus two you have right? a minus two yeah and and you can only have moved up to half your movement okay so he cannot shoot however bowen is good as gold and bowen is going to shoot at that um what what regiment is that that we're piling on there 15th i don't know new york? shooting at uh this 15th, guy yeah 15th new york yeah this guy right here that's indiana like but sure indiana all okay. right all right I don't much like the state of Indiana. So plus so, one. Well, it's really, there's not much to it. Um, so <laughs> plus one, plus one, minus one then. All right. So we're on a, it's a straight roll on a four. Here we go. A six. Six is a little D. And we have failed. So he will disorganize. <clears throat> All right, and then we are going to shoot with... Um, oh, these guys got to be on the bottom, sorry. These six here, um, who have not moved, 
are going to shoot at the hex that um, Wagner is in. Okay. So your yeah, okay. bit, it's the same same thing. Six. Yeah, I, I it's think exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A zero. That's a nothing. That is a nothing. And then and water's battery is going to open up on that same hex. So it's a four straight up. A five. Okay, so five is going to be eight. Well, it's going to be an artillery uh, depletion. Yes. And it's going to be a. That's a my yeah. It's plus one minus one. So that's going to be a little d, minus one for Wagner being in the hex. It should be all right. He's okay. All right. So that is it for my shots, and my movement, and I am done. So, okay. Back to the draw pool. Over I to will you. draw. Right, go ahead. Withers again. Withers again. Well, I think we better make your life very, very difficult. Now, remember, you're activating one brigade at a... Unless you want to try and roll brigade coordination, which is fine. No, I'm doing one brigade at a time. Okay. That's, well, that's then I... take the shots when you activate their brigade. All right. Is so... the, only, the only thing. Are they under advance or attack orders? They're under advance. Okay. We're not attacking. Right? Okay. So, Robertson is going to, once again, fire at Wagner. So, that is okay. a... It's a straight six. That's a nine. That is a big D. So they're disordered. All right. And then we will move all of Loomis's brigade here. Check on non-phasing fire for a second. Hold on. I'm pretty sure... It's three hexes for artillery. It's three hexes for everybody. But... Oh, I can shoot back at you. Yeah, let me take that shot. It's stay, so stay where you are. Uh, this is going to be a return fire. Uh, who shot at Wagner? Was that Robertson? Well, yeah. Okay. You don't, you don't have any already with line of sight. Uh, if you shot at me, I can shoot back at oh, you. Oh, you do. Oh, you do. I didn't see your guy hidden over there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and shoot. So seven hexes with a pair of tens, and then I got to disorganize the correct unit. Um, now there's a thing. Now, yeah, he was on top, so he's disorganized. Yeah, yeah exactly. <clears throat> so, so that's a two. Um, There's really no modifiers there. So it's just a two. So it's... So what are the rules for opportunity fire again? So a unit has to be moving within six. three hexes, right? It is a D minus two for you. Right. Yeah, but, but you could also... Ret artillery can return fire if they are fired at. Okay. And that's not subject to the three hex rule. Got it. All right. So these other guys, you notice Loomis moved to a very crafty place where... He's not really in anybody who's in range does not have a shot on him. And he's kind of in the forest and blocked off by the other. Yeah, side. that's correct. So let's see here. And. I think if I move here, you'll have a shot on me, correct? I will. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna stay there. Where you don't. And we are now gonna activate Barrett. And are we? No, we're gonna activate Manigo. Manigo. 
and um, we're gonna take a shot at that. Oh yeah, let me fix, let me fix that. All right, that's fixed. We're gonna take a shot at that same Indiana unit. Okay. So Manny goes. Guy has a four. Uh, or does he? <coughs> Manny go. Manny go. Manny go. Who's shooting? The water's battery. Okay, gotcha. Manny goes right. Gotcha. So we're shooting at that same Indi Indiana unit. Uh, that infantry unit. Mm -hmm. So it's a straight. It's a straight four. Here we go. But you're minus two. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, he rolled a zero. Okay. So that's that. And now these guys shall move. And that's that brigade. And then we shall activate Chalmers. And so Garrity is going to take a shot at the um, same Indiana Brigade. So he, Garrity's a four, and you're minus one plus one because you're big and fat, but you're also in woods. Here we go. A five. Okay, how many factors was that? Four. Okay, so that's a total depletion and a little d. Well, who was the target again? Sorry. That, that same Indiana infantry okay. unit I fired at 100 times. The only one He's I can fine. See. It's a very brave corn fed boys from Indiana. Yeah, that firing sub menu sucks, and I never remember that it's Alt A. So okay. So now we go did it take? Correct. You have water's battery, by the way, Mark it's hard to see this. But you have water's battery marked at a minus three DRM for ammo depletion, and I don't believe that's correct. I think he's minus two. How does it look now? I can't even... It's hard to see. Uh, now There's it says out of ammo. Okay. There's too much tininess in this module, Alan. What is it now? Giant 4K screens is the way... Now I see nothing. On waters? On waters. I do I'm not see an out of ammo on him. I'm seeing something red. Yeah, but I don't know what that is. There's the reset. All right, so firing ammo depletion. I did ammo depletion. It didn't do a thing. Oh, it says minus one. Now it says minus one, one, yeah. So just do that three. again. Uh, firing. There's minus two. This guy gets a minus one. No, he actually needs to be reset. There you go. All right. So, lastly, we are going to go with uh, Barrett and Barrett is going to shoot at those same Indiana boys. Okay. He's a four. It's a straight four. Here we go. A seven. That's seven a is a D plus two. He's okay. All right. How does disorder affect your ability to fire? Does it do anything to it? No, but you're going to have... Uh, well, yeah, there's a modifier for it. Um, uh, all right. So, so if, I, he, if, I just, if I flip this Indiana guy, for example, his manpower doesn't change. Um, but, Disordered unit firing is minus one. Yeah, it's one. minus one. It's a minus one. And he has... What does he have? Rifles? So he'd be at a net minus one firing with nine. So yeah, we're, we're 
Yeah. Now, I- uh-huh. infantry can return fire two, but only within three hexes. Well, looks like we got a lot of that going on. So what we're going to do is start here. We're still too far away. And then this guy will go here. All right, you get up some opportunity fire. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's From th- three hexes away. Oh, it's uh, sorry. Let me let me be clear about that. So the return, uh, the like the what we're calling opportunity fire is called withdrawal fire, and right. it triggers if you leave a hex that is a frontal hex, and it's within three. If I oh, if I leave a hex, yes. Okay. So if you you're, so it, withdrawal fire is a bit of a misnomer. Uh, so if you were to move one more hex towards me, then I could in fact fire at you. All right. Knowing this now, Withers is going to move. This guy is going to move there because you didn't have line of sight beforehand. So he's just going to be there, and he's not going to move any further. Okay, okay, that's fine. Right, right. And this guy is going to go here. And that's that. We are now done with all... Oh, let me move Chalmers guys up. Come here, Nimrod. That is it for Withers. Withers is in a very aggressive, threatening position. That was the goal. And threatening your flank of your little line there, trying to get you to back off. All right. So now let us... I shall do the draw shit. I shall draw. All right. So finally a union shit shows up. It's Palmer. All right, well. Palmer's in the rear with the gear, right? Yeah. That's Palmer. All right. You go ahead and draw. Davis. All right, so. No more crazy artillery shots available for Davis. Yep, I feel Davis like I need to get there now. This is actually tactically interesting on this day. That guy last. Is McCook getting spooked yet, or is he overconfident? McCook's McCook's not even not appearing in this picture at the, at the oh, current right. time. All right. Or I could be just fainting, Stigler. Alan, that's the other option. In any case, I'm certainly trying to interfere with uh, make McCook be as make the right wing and Davis there be as wonky and cautious as they have to be about 
get maneuvering into position there. That will do for Davis. All right, I shall draw. I shall draw. What? Cheat, Cheat him. him. Does not count. He's under march orders. You go ahead. Withers. Wither. Mr. Withers. Oh, I'm so tempted to roll for an order change and have Withers just, you know, chomping at the bit. Let me see how that works. Brigade orders change. So you can only do it by brigade, right? Cor uh, correct, yeah. And you're rolling under... All right, so plus one. He's plus Withers is... So that little number in the white box on Withers counter, that's his orders rating. Um, that is the modifier that you would use if you were rolling on the brigade orders change table and withers is a zero hmm. the worst thing that could happen is i don't do anything but the other thing is my fatigue will go up to one that's true and that's a minus one to firepower by the way yeah and i'm not cool about that so as eager as that seems to be a thing to do I think I'm much happier just being in a position to do all sorts of return fiery things to you. Okay. With withdrawal fire. So withers will pass. Okay. And then I'll draw one. Confederate march. All right. Let me uh, work on that. All right. You. How much do you have under march? Oh, what I what just came out from March mm -hmm. is made up for by the reinforcements that have just showed up under March. So okay, well I, I got a I minute then, so I'll I'll be back in a, a moment. Yeah, yeah, you you do what you got to do. Terrain chart.
All right, I'm back. Just wanted to check on the food. Does it look delicious? It is delicious, actually. Which is uh, unfortunate because I was like one of those things where I accidentally dumped the entire container of salt into it whilst preparing it. I managed to fix it. It's a little salty, but it... Not irreparably so. I do think uh, Bob Evans' sausage is still pretty good. I yeah. love me some Bob Ev Evans' sausage. I have a honestly. pretty low opinion of the restaurant these days, but their sausage is still pretty good. It's pretty much, I believe it to be the best breakfast sausage available around here. And so uh, we're, I mean, the, the Bob Evans farm is literally, you know, not that far away from here. Right. Uh, clear up all that nonsense. There. I need to get figure out how to turn these steam pop-ups off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, steam 14. keeps telling me so and so is playing Skyrim. So <laughs> have fun. Alright, so that's that's gonna make this very doable. I guess I'll mention it. The Steam Summer Sale is on right now and is on until July 9th. Um, there is a $5 off purchase of $30 or more thing. So if you can find $30 worth of stuff to buy on Steam on the current, you know, bearing in mind that most most things are discounted on Steam at this point, you can get an extra 5 bucks off. I picked up... Uh, Endless Space 2, which uh, I haven't really fooled with yet, and which was, of course, like twenty nine seventy two. dollars when I added it all together. So I had, to, I had to add something else, so I put, it in, I put in uh, Lords of Waterdeep, which I've played the board game version of it, which I like. Looks like a good carpet bombing target right there. I keep hitting shift too. Don't worry, the marching is coming to an end. At least this So much marching. Yes, it's it's Tiring me out a little bit. All right. But there are those great roads back behind the line, and there's no threat, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's the way to go. Well, there, I mean, you don't know that. I mean, there is there is a Union Cavalry unit that could come in at some point that no, is behind those lines. 
we resolved that. That was that was in the errata. That uh, just, your, well, your unit does not your unit does not come in on ten nineteen. They specifically say in the errata that is a mistake that refers to Wheeler. We discussed that, Gary. That ah, is not right. Okay. Right. right. Which is a serious, you know, yeah, it, that that makes a difference. So I was worried about that until I was like, I was like that kind of doesn't make sense. Which is what made me look up the errata. Good. I'm, I'm almost like Hardy's guys are basically sorted out. That's that's the positive. I have a buddy, I um, Jim Orzowski, who also does uh, streaming on tabletop simulator stuff. Actually, he's a big Napoleonics guy. Um, he has, yeah, I, th I think, I, Victory and Glory, the Napoleonics game, is the one he has mercilessly teased for having purple Prussians. It, it, it deserves as such, in my opinion. I, I would tend to agree I mean, with some him. Things, some, some things are just not done, admittedly. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks for joining us. I am not a tabletop simulator fan. I've tried it, and I find it uh, janky. Depends on the game, but the kind of games you and I play are are the kinds, exact kinds of games that tabletop simulator are not good at. Right. So there, it's based. Someone asked me about it on Twitter, and I was like, basically, it's if you want to play like seventies SPI stuff, you're gold. Yeah. Right. Which is a lot of what he does. Actually, is that exact kind of stuff, or play like commands and colors and stuff like that. Right, which I have, yeah. Right. But that's funny. He's so into Napoleonics. That's interesting. But he doesn't go with, like, the new Zucker stuff or whatever. He's just, like... I think he likes that stuff, too. Right. But um, he does a lot of miniature stuff, I know. And a lot of commands and colors stuff. Plays with his son a lot, too. Um, so... Make sure. He also does uh, a lot of Kriegspiel the von Reiswitz creature. Yeah, yeah, the original. Yeah, he's an interesting guy. I just I yeah, he's got this irrational love for tabletop simulator. I'm like, "Eh, it doesn't do the stuff I want to do." And ba and they're limited content-wise basically to it's like everything you don't need rights for. Well, if uh, if there it was on Decision Games radar, I would assume they'd be getting cease and desist notices. Then again, it's all fan made. It's all I made. Mean, it's all fan made stuff. It's not all fan made stuff, but all that stuff is. So right. Let's. Chino. What is the movement in March on railroad? One, I think. Yep, it it is in fact one. Okay, so it. Now, I, I will off. mention that, and I did this with when I moved Crittenden. Leaders move at the march rate on roads and pikes. Okay, just just leaders. Right. Royal roads just one one across the board though. My question to you is this: so I subtract a movement point for every unit that enters basically off the edge of the map. Yeah, I mean they're coming in in column, so. I don't. Wh where are you coming in at? So, so okay. So I mean, just line them up. Just move the first guy and line everybody up behind him. Okay, got it. All right. So that's one and a half. I mean, assuming they're all staying on the road. One and a half, six. Well, hold on. Let me. I got to go big. Five, four, 
six, five, four. How many five, um, fatigues four. are you burning? Just or how many? Two. Okay. There's no, there's no reason to fatigue them out because they're going to get on. Just I got it. They're on a pike. All right. So let me let me do that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, getting them to the pike. Four, four movement points to get to the pike. And then it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I count six and a half to get to the pike, just FYI. From that depot? Uh, not from the depot. Then it's going to be, that first text is two. Oh, got it. All right, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. So it's okay. four and a half. That, that sounds right. Right. So, but you're, hold on, you're, you're distracting me. All right, so they're going to go there. Yeah, I got to build a march here, which, as you know, is a little involves a lot of extended for a whole division. So get, mm -hmm. let me give me a little time. Plus, you got to get, uh, you know, extended march markers and all or extended column markers and all that, that stuff. That's, that, that's what I'm talking. About. Yeah. And it's seven more than seven has to go into extended column. I checked that because I actually do have units in March uh, this turn. I think I have the Victory and Glory Napoleon PC game. Yeah, I do. I don't think I've actually fooled with it at all, to be honest. I spent uh, enough. Yeah. I gave Steam enough money. I like Jim. I only know him on Twitter, right? So uh -huh. what I thought was funny is based on his, like, yeah, I only play old SPI or Command and Colors. I thought he was like 75 years old. Uh, he's roughly my age. I think he's a little younger right, than me, to right. be honest. Right, right. So th that's what I mean. So when I saw him on YouTube, I was like, well, that that's interesting. Yeah, you know, because that's not a 75-year-old guy. Just the, the whole, I love, like, you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that combination is kind of like, usually speaks of, I want to play stuff that I played in my youth. Or I want to... Clone. Play something that does not require a lot of bandwidth. If that and both of those things are fair. Right, but I like even seriously, like the real Oh, I should mention. I'm surprised Stigler hasn't mentioned it yet, unless I've uh I mentioned it. Unless he did and I missed it in the chat. Um one of the things teased by GMT in the monthly update is an expansion kit for a Great Battles of the American Civil War title. So that is, I think, the uh, additional Valley Battles add-on to Death Valley. I, I, I actually know and cannot speak, shall we say. I don't know that it's a secret, particularly. It's been talked about in the uh, some of the uh, interviews that Alan's done. I just haven't had a chance to do anything with it. Playtesting, shall we say. Oh, okay. Right. So, that, I'll definitely pick that up. I'll do whatever yeah. they want. I'm, I'm yeah. at the point with this series where I'll pretty much do whatever they would like. Uh, I'll buy whatever they would like to put out. It would be nice to have Chickamauga. Yeah, I... Gotta say. I I wish they, I hope they keep doing the West. Um, I mean, it's neat. I like those little battles, but it's more like, a, hey, we haven't done Chickamauga and we haven't done Champion well, Hill. Well, they, they have done Chickamauga, right? but it's it's but the I'll, one in the I'll, series right, that's right. impossible to get. 
Right, right. They, so they haven't reprinted that. And then right. they, there, there are all these other battles in the West that they haven't done yet. But it's like, ah, oh, here's South Mountain. Here's Big Bethel. You know, I'm like, oh, my God. You, you, yeah, we haven't had that many treatments of South Mountain. I don't mind. And I, I agree in general that I'd like to see Western stuff. I, that's historically been dealt with a lot less in wargaming from the publisher side than I think it deserves. Um, I think well, that's uh, right. at that, but that's my point. That's all I'm saying is when you're getting to these tiny ass little actions, right? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like scraping the bottom of the barrel for every battle you could possibly do in the East, right? And all you've done is like Murfreesboro and Chickamauga. You've got a problem. I That's don't all, disagree. Right? I'd like to yeah. see more stuff in the West because there's a bunch of big battles. Well, I mean, we got Shiloh coming too. Right. Right. I mean, Finally. think about this. Finally. There hasn't been a Finally. right. There hasn't been an Antietam game since about 1987. Right. There so. does need to be. There does need to be one of those. So I, but 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 that's my point though. Is like. That's like, and that's for all the series, you know, it's one of the things I'll give GCAW, which yes, it's a different scale, but the, this East, you know, my opinion, it's, seriously, it's East boy fan is fanboyism when you're, when you're, you know, these completely unimportant battles, right? You know, while these major actions in the West are just like, ah, it's, uh, East well, that's, that's part of the, the, the civil war mytho. I don't want to say mythology because that people it, might no, draw the wrong, a, but, it is but you got the, the, the big romantic figures of, of the American civil war largely out East and, um, Except for Grant and Sherman, and Grant eventually comes east. Um, I mean, we don't really have that much late well, war stuff, right? We right. don't have Petersburg, it, it, although we will. Uh, don't get me wrong; I'm not going there. To me, it's not even lost causes, right? Oh no, it's, no, no, no! That's not what I'm trying to say at all. It, it's like here's this. No, no, no. But but, but when I say what I'm going to say, I don't want that to be. I think it's a mythology, and it's like straight up like you're doing these very complicated games, right? So it's not something like where it's like Worthington's cranking out a title, you know what I mean? Like, like I saw they're kickstartering the Bulge, right? So yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it speaks to their Civil War games, right? But seriously, you haven't done a Shiloh yet, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you're doing like cross keys. Yeah, you well, know? and and that's Cross Keys of Port Republic is one of the old SPI titles too. So I right. mean, yeah, I agree. And it's it's just a it's an odd omission, right? It's Shiloh. It's a it's a good battle. Um, it'll right. be a good battle to play. Um, and they've the series has never done it in in either yeah. incarnation. And, and and half of it's like I I, I won't speak too ill because I love their, these guys' game. You guys are wonderful, but like they all live in Virginia, right? <laughs> Right. You know, it's 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 it, it, it's classic of also like reenactor and just Civil War ACW culture fanboyism for these Eastern battles that are completely irrelevant at times. And it's like, hey, where's the Vicksburg game? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, probably more important than than Gettysburg, that whole campaign and the multiple battles around it. But yeah, we're not simulating it. You know, Vicksburg's very important. And I, I'm only aware of one game. Um, I'll talk John Longshore. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm only aware of one game on Vicksburg, actually, and that's the Mississippi Fortress game from Clash of Arms. So the good news is I'm done with that crazy-ass amount of marching. Awesome. So, yes. So it's been so long that I forgot who drew that shit. I think it was me, uh, though, so you had to go ahead and draw. Here we go. Well, you did draw really bad. Joe but... Wheeler. And you're draw well, yeah. I, no, I, yeah, look at the number of chits. I got uh, two ones and a two. So, so now these Wheeler guys are going to go. So, yeah, John Larcher, what he's talking about is uh, GMT put on a monthly update a couple days ago, and they're offering folks one or two free games if they can, you know, email them and explain that you lost your job because of the pandemic. So... I did not lose my job because of the pandemic. I lost my job to corporate fuckery. So. Is there an extra cost to crossing a Ford? Let me look here. Uh, I, there might be. Um, no. 
No, yeah, there is. There is. Uh, it's a right, Ford B. Get... It's plus two. Yeah. And it's well, plus me... four for artillery, by the way, and a, and a little deal goes along with it. Don't worry about it. Let me just do all this first, and I can back them up. All right. So, does it, Joe have artillery? I'll figure it out. I got it. Okay. Ford, yeah, there's like two kinds of Fords. There's Ford A, and they're marked. They should be marked. There's Ford A and Ford B. Ford A, type A, and, and they're different. It's all on the TEC. Even for liters, it costs extra. All right, that is it for Wheeler's activation. Oh, okay. Rest Hold on, though. Hold on, though. Um, all Fords are considered A-level Fords because the Stones River is at low right now. Right, got it. And then tomorrow yeah. it goes up. And you can just cross. You don't even have to cross it a Ford. You can you can just cross it for plus one movement, plus two D, little D for artillery. Crossing it not at a Ford is a problem for artillery, really, only. Don't worry about it. Done. All right, All right. So next, now my, I believe it's me now. More Confederates. Breckenridge. Breckenridge. Hmm. And I believe Breckenridge was under March. So let me double check that. Yep. Breckenridge marched. So. All right. They're facing ahead. that way. Yep. Cleburne. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that is the I Love Lucy guy. All right, so let's see here. <laughs> I have had, you have had. I can't, I can't even see them all because they're they're tracing off the screen. You, this is your tenth activation. Without your tenth you shit, one? I have had two. That's not a good position to be in. So, real, real, su really super of GMT to, to do that. I think, think it's a really, uh, a really awesome thing that they're doing. It's two hex facing. New on battles, Napoleonic battles on Facebook. I'm not sure I know what that is. Should I just come on with the rebels? I, I, I really think I might.
This is an exercise in what they call dress right dress. So I'm curious, do the, the core commanders, I've been doing it this way, I might not have to. Do the core commanders have to be in command radius of the army commanders? Yes. Yes, well, that's how I've been doing it. All right, Claiborne has done his second activation. Is it your draw? Uh, I think so. Fry. All right, let's see what we can. Every time I say Fry, I think of Futurama. I think that's probably pretty common. Um... <laughs> Ashbury Lane. Asbury Park. Hate Ashbury. Wow, there's a whole lot of. All right, I do have a shot. Oh, I'm. Uh, never mind. I had a bunch of shots with Claiborne, I didn't take them. Uh oh. Well, I'm taking a shot. Um, uh, let me take let me take the one that's not against the guys who just moved because th those are actually would have been really shitty shots and I wouldn't have taken them. I believe I have a line of sight on your guy at the forward there. Oh, okay. You're right. Uh, so... Yeah, let's trace it, but I think you do. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So I am going to... It's a minus two. I've got four. Here we go. You're Oh, you're a big fatty, so it's a minus one. A seven. So you're shooting uh, how many factors? Four. Four? But i got a minus two, but it's a net minus one because you're big and fat. So it's a six? Yep. So that's a little D. He passes. All right, that's it. All right, so go ahead and take your shot. <clears throat> All right. I got one shot with. Oh, I cannot read that. Uh, but we're shooting at Hex 2631 8th Arkansas. 8th Arkansas. Have at it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 hexes with parrot tens is not a modifier, so it's merely a plus one. Okay. That unit did not move. So six factors at three is something. It's a D minus one. Six factor. Okay. Here we go. Uh, where's the die? He's They're fine. fine. Okay. Uh, that is the only shot that they've got. All right. So new chip. Is it my draw? Yes. Davis. 
Ah, All right. I'm so happy. So, <clears throat> this might take a while. But <laughs> they're under of... advanced, not... not um, attack. Attack. So that's a free hex. Let's rotate. And now the opportunity fire starts. 17th yep. Tennessee can take a... Um, Withdrawal fire shot at three hexes. So we are indeed doing that. All right. Now so, remember, you're not shooting at twelve. You're shooting it. You're shooting with seven. You can only shoot seven firepower right. for infantry out of a single hex. So you're going to be it. at seven, and he's shooting our old rifles at three hexes. So you're at seven factors minus two. Here we go. Plus, uh, the mass fi mass target only is is only infantry. Oh, sorry. Right. Mass target is only for sh when you're shooting with artillery. So you so got a five. A yes. It's All a right. Three so, on the seven. so he out of ammo's, and it's a so it's a little d. <coughs> is that an out of ammo or a? Ammo it's, well, it's a low. It's a low ammo. Sorry. He's fine. Is it minus one as well for the infantry? <coughs> minus two, I, minus two I should say. I'm uh, pretty sure it's the same modifier, actually. All right. All right. All right. I, uh, I think I also have a shot. No, no, I don't. Nope, that no, was I'm the only shot mind. you had. Yep. Go ahead. All right. That unit can do another one. Let me check something here real quick. Can you do that twice with the same unit? Yeah, I think you can. All right, so I'm ammo depleted, so I'm minus two. Uh huh. And I'm at another minus one. If I recall correctly, because I'm old rifles, correct? Correct. That's yeah. That's for range. Yeah. So it's minus three. Seven factors minus three. A four. Four is a little d. He's fine. All right. Keep moving. Well, that's going to go right there. You will not have a shot at that. Nope. All right. I have shots. Um, I'm going to take that same 12th Tennessee. That's that's right. the brigade right there. That's actually not true. Hold on. Um, so I have, two, a, I, have six, a, I have a question for you. You can fire under advance orders? Yes. So I could have fired the whole time. You can... Let me go up, to the summary up, here. Hold on. I'm saying up there, like with my guys who push close to you there by the woods? Uh, yes. In that case, you could have. Well, I mean, yes and no. I mean, the, the three hex... There's, a, there's at least a couple of shots there. Mostly you're at four hexes, though. Or there's intervening terrain blocking line of sight. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there were a couple shots you could have taken there. All right, go ahead. All right. So uh, we're going to shoot 5th. I'm having a hard time reading these numbers. 35th Illinois will shoot at that 12th Tennessee. So that's two hexes. Uh, they have rifles, army rifles. Two hexes is plus one. <clears throat> Minus one for the woods. Minus one for the woods, yeah. So it's straight up. Let's go through the modifiers just so we're, I'm, we're not missing anything. Oh, Mass target, no. Okay. And if you shoot, I get return fire, right? You do get return fire. That's true. With artillery and infantry fire, and everything. Prepared fire. Right. Prepared fire. I need to look at prepared fire, actually. Because right now in the hexes you're in, I have line of sight on you with those three guys, those three hexes, where they're all adjacent to each other. The 12, the 5, the artillery, and... Well, the only unit that's going to get return fire is that unit I'm shooting at. Ah, got it. Okay. So. Well, 
Well, go ahead and fire. I'll give you a second. I'm looking for prepared fire. Oh, that's okay. That's based on range. Okay, so prepared Alan, fire with army rifle is a, is two, and we're at two. So that is pl another plus one. So that puts us at a net plus two. Alan, there's Champions Hill. There's all sorts of other engagements in the West. The game, I love the system, but it is certainly an East fanboy. And yeah. that's only beginning to be rectified by Into the Woods. Yeah, so, and he's Stegler's oh, yeah. right about Vicksburg being tough to do. Right, it is a being challenging a campaign, subject. Being yeah. a campaign, but and it's there's not. A, I mean, there's a siege, and well, I mean, there's a siege, and how do you do that? It, you know, that's there's but there's you, challenges there. There's Champions Hill, and there's all these other decisive engagements around Vicksburg. So that's, that's the usual. That's oh, you can't do Vicksburg. True. It's a campaign. This is if we're doing cross keys and like you know stuff that's basically four cavalry divisions against each other in nowheresville virginia i got a it's, seven it's, east, it's it's east fanboyism all right so let's you do get a shot back but I, d I did a big d a big d all right big so let me d. get my shot back and then we'll resolve that so i'm at minus three minus minus three why minus three yeah. because i'm low ammo and i am using old rifles oh okay yep you got it. You're right. And you're but shooting at two. back at seven. Old rifles at two. No, it's a zero, so it's a minus one. Whatever it is, I rolled a one. So a big D means he's disrupted. Yeah, he's disrupted. And that's it. That is a D minus two. So he's fine. All right. Now the other unit is going to take the same shot. Okay. That's a nine. That's a one D, big D. So you're going to lose a step, and you're going to take a second disruption. So you're going to, from the CRT, you're going to lose a step. You're going to suffer uh, that second disruption, which is going to cost you another strength point, and then you retreat hold, hold, one hold, to two hexes. Hold on a second. Let, let me get the markers. Okay. Because this is one of those where you can't just click on it and do it. You've got to like grab the marker. Alan's going to fix that for us, though. Yeah, in theory. So let's see here. And what's it called again? The strength. marker is just strength point. Yeah. Yeah. So this, it, yeah, you're right. It This is like antediluvian in terms of its. Lost. And then. Honestly, I, I enjoy I love the system, but one of the things that has until recently kept me away from it is is the paucity of you know, it's it it like I said, we're doing cross keys, we're doing you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, you know. All right, so that's that. All right, so so, so one point. and then flip, which you did. Um, right. and then you're gonna lose another from the second disruption, you're gonna lose another one and retreat one to two hexes. So one to two hexes. One, two. Okay, there we go. All right. So that is Woodruff's formation. I'm gonna stick Davis over here for a minute. Um, let's stick Post over here. I think. I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four. Well, yeah. And it's the, by the way, that is the one thing that really got me into originally. I, th I think this system, you know, the, the, this process, way of doing business with these games is mm -hmm. superior to Dean Essig's old um, BCS. But one of the things that turned me on to it was they did a lot of stuff in the West, a lot. 
They did. They did. They did quite a bit. You know, and, you know, and that's that's the other thing is the it's been the rage of, of military history scholarship in the last thirty years is like, hey, why are we debating you know the Battle of Winchester when there are these many many actions in the West that you, you know haven't been written about? You know, all the research, all the literature is there. So it's kind of you know, I I, I see it as like. The, the subject matter of the games that have been done generally dwell like it's 1962 history as opposed to today. Well, you know, a part of that is, is well, so Dean didn't design every game in that series, right? Dave, no. Dave, now no. Dave Powell did at least one or two of them. Um, so part of it with this series is until relatively recently, Berg did all the games. Um, right. Right. As far as I know, at least all the ones from GMT. So now that uh, I think that it sounds, and, and Alan can speak to this or, or possibly not if he's, you know, under hush hush orders, but um, part of it, it's just been, you know, one guy doing it, you're, there's, you're going to get a game every five years, right? Um, right? If we can get a game in this series every one or two years instead, then I think we can definitely see, I hope to see some of those key Western battles. Um, I, I personally would, I mean, I think Chickamauga is a fascinating battle, and I'd like to see it back in print, whether it's done by itself or in a big combo pack, which I will be delighted to order, um, should they put it up for P500. Um, several ba- several battles around Atlanta. Shiloh, Shiloh's yeah. a glaring admission. You, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it's it uh, probably the most obvious one, really. Uh, Perryville. Yep, that's true, too. All right, that is it for um, Davis. So I think it's your draw, I think. It it is. It is indeed. Flip. McCown. Mr. Tweezers, how's it going? Where's McCown at? I see him. Yeah, he's actually going to go up and make Davis' life even more difficult. That's kind of the plan. (laughs) I think I could have gotten one more unit over that bridge, actually. Oh, well. We are probably not going to play too many more chits, I think, today. No, I don't think so either. Car 54, where are you? You Quinto Games Ironclads. I have never owned nor played anything from you Quinto. Um, I'm not sure that they had anything that interested me, although some of their fantasy and or sci-fi games might have looked interesting. But the only one I could think of, I remember Ironclads, and I remember Beast Lord or the Beast Lord, and I'm not sure I remember every anything else from them. Off the top of my head, that I could name, I should say. Clearly, they they had quite a few games. No. There, and I, Dickie. Yeah, we're we're all good there. Just want to make sure Davis himself was in the right place. He's fine. I don't think. Yeah. Just checking on whether there's just something else in the specific in the cup or not.
All right, I am done with McCown. Well, that was easy. Uh, let's do one more. All right. I think it's my draw, I think. Yep. Breckenridge. Breckenridge was on March orders. All right. All right. So let's, uh, we've been at it for about hey. three hours. Yeah, let's so save Let it. us save it. We are in the middle of turn four. Yeah. And let's both save it, because I know we have yeah. uh, potentially vanishing counter issues. This is shaping up interesting. I mean, you're being... you In most games we play, you love to be aggressive, so you're trying to pour across that four, but I got a lot of stuff coming behind it. So... That's true, um, but there's, there's a, a whole union line facing you as well. Uh, that you have to right. be concerned about. I mean, yeah, Breckenridge is coming up, and who is it? Uh, McCowan's coming up behind, but it's not just the Ford. You've got uh, a whole Union division and a half facing you across that field. Right, but I can keep you honest with Polk. I... Yeah, I mean, I can't. I can't just swing that whole thing over. I have to guard that. If if, if hypothetically a chit were to ever be drawn that were to enable me to move them, I clearly have to do something with that flank. Right, and that's that's what I'm. Tr so I, I mean, it's obvious. The reason I'm doing what I'm doing, what I'm trying to do, is just this: is I think I can, like, even if I have to fall back that one. So a brigade's not going to be holding you across that that little you know thing on the left yeah it's going to be mccown's division you know yeah and as johnson falls back and then i feel perfectly fine not even advancing any further with claiborne but i can certainly stand you off and then grind you up as you as, you know to davis that's my mm -hmm. plan right and then i got a whole other division just in reserve for her you know what i mean yeah. for hardy well that's, the, that's the trouble i've got um you know, there's a whole third. You've got most of your army on the map. Um, I've got less than half, I think. Right. Yeah, less right. than half. So I have to play this, you know, I, I have to kind of position myself here. Yeah, I just, you know, we'll see how it works out for you. But I wouldn't have, I would have aborted trying to cross there with those guys. Because that never goes well. You know, you'll end up facing more front. You're you're forced to attack coming off of a column. If that yes, makes any, that's that's yeah. that's absolutely true. Um, but I mean, the alternative is to take another two or two to four turns before they can. I can get those guys in. Right, you could get you could go north, like just you know much further north yeah. up to and there's up to only a 30 percent chance that uh any of these additional variable reinforcements come in at each each and every turn right so right. I'm, I'm also counting on the fact that we're close to nighttime right so you know i'm not, not that close it's 3 p.m yeah but it's gonna start remember visibility goes down that well that's true yeah Right, and it's, that's so a good point. Of, actually, uh, it is winter. When does night start in this thing? Hold on, let me look at that. It's like it visibility goes down to two hexes, I believe. Yeah, at like four or five o'clock. Seventeen hundred is when that starts to do stuff. Yep. Right. So, so, so there's only two more turns actually before nighttime. Right. So I was not planning. So I'll, I'll just say it now, in case it's not obvious, unless you do something that really you know changes my mind about it. But I'm not planning on launching an attack. What my plan was to do this to get you to make react with Davis and then try to grind him and, and make your junction as difficult as possible mm -hmm. with the rest of the force, you know. But I figured the only way I could do that was to move forward and pin, you know, what I mean Palmer and Wood. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, not right, not attack, but pin you, and then make Davis's life really tough. You know. Yeah. So, well, we'll see how it works out. We'll see yeah. how it goes. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. turning out to be, uh, rel I think, relatively interesting, and I, I like this. System, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I yeah, mentioned. Yeah, so, yeah. all right, cool. Uh, we so are thank saved. you, everybody. So, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. We are going to play uh, Hot Dry Season tomorrow at Monday at six p.m. Eastern. 
So everybody tune in for that. And then we'll be back again with something on Friday. If something Worthington, we'll see what it is. Everybody have a great one. Good night.